Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, welcome in as we get ready to rock and roll. Here from Lincoln Speedway, let's get it, baby. Let's go, chat. Let's go, baby. Oh, man, this is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a very, very good race. It is the CFM Customer Race live here on Peacemaker Gaming. Let's get it, baby. Woo. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are live. We are ready to rock and roll here for a wild evening of racing action as it is the Team CFM Esports customer race here. A little bit of an appreciation race for the customers over at CFM Esports, Majula Safe Speed Shop, guys. And this is going to be a good race. This is going to be an amazing race. A lot of big names, a lot of very, very fast drivers in attendance ready to rock and roll here this evening. Riley Hutchinson coming in with that like on the stream. How are you, Riley? Riley coming in at some mashing that thumbs up here on the broadcast. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you haven't, make sure you hit the like, hit the share, and hit that follow button. And if you're watching over on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button. As man, oh man, oh man, this is going to be a very, very good night of racing action. Joe Foxer52 coming in with the like as well. Jaden Sheehan Gaming coming in, smashing that thumbs up. Joe Garcia coming in with the like. Joe Foxer coming in with that share. Jaden Sheehan Gaming coming in with the share as well as Dustin Price. My boy Dustin coming in, some matching that thumbs up here on the broadcast. As we get ready to set these drivers loose, practice coming to a close. We'll see them jump out onto the racetrack here for a quick qualifying session. They'll jump out onto the racetrack. They'll look to try to put down a good lap time to start their evening off on the right foot. Joe Garcia says, let's go. Warrior Racing cheered on all the Warrior Racing rides out there on the racetrack. Good to see you, Joe. Up in the house here this evening is Josiah Johnson coming in with the like on the stream as well. How are you, Josiah? How are you? How are you doing this evening? It's Logan Johnson. Watson, my boy Logan says, let's go HRE Sim Sports. Cheer it on the HRE machines out there on the racetrack. A full field, a good group of drivers, and some very fast cats in attendance here this evening getting ready for their qualifying runs as they're all going to load into the sim here and get ready to be set loose. Each and every one of these drivers looking to qualify in that pole position, looking to try to put themselves in the best starting spot possible here for this feature event. Yo, my boy Chris Ferguson! Chris up in the house. How are you, Mr. Ferguson? How are you doing this evening? Chris coming in, showing the Love says, let's go. Let's go, Chris. Jeremiah Johnson says, let's go, Eli and Josiah Johnson. Cheering on the Johnsons out there on the racetrack. It's heat race number one. Going to get underway here in just a little bit as qualifying underway right now. Hayden Tolleson with the quick time here as that 327 ride hooked up here this evening as this is definitely a very tricky, very technical racetrack. Lincoln Speedway, the corners get very, very tight, especially on entry. We're going to see that be an issue all evening long, but these Majula Safe Speed Shop sweet victory apparel rides are all going to be looking to have themselves a wonderful day at the racetrack. Christopher Joy rolling out there in his Elliott's Trucking number 32 ride. The Fat Heads Machine Tanner Peak rolling out there as well. The Elbows Up number 91 ride looking for a fast lap right now. Currently third quickest. Looking to jump up a couple more spots. Looking for that pole position. He's not going to get there. Logan Johnson rolling out there onto the track. Here comes that 92 ride looking very fresh in his HRE Sim Sports number 92 ride. A beautiful purple and orange ride looking very fresh out there in the Johnson Sim Shots ride the double zero Tommy Kohick Kohick hopefully I'm saying that right Tommy Kohick out there as well the double zero ride the WR1 machine out there looking fast Dustin Price in the 10 ride just getting done his lap time is Eli Johnson up into position number three here on the time charts as Richie Yotes makes his name known here as the 4-2 graphics Majula State Speed Shop sweet back sweet victory apparel number 29 ride almost up inside the top five, but he's going to get knocked off the top five. Here's Riley Hutchinson going to jump up there. Now Richie going to work himself back into the top five with a very quick second lap right there. So a good run for Richie Yost. Good run for a lot of these drivers. Josiah Jock. 
Johnson out there as well in the 71. Ryan, as we're still looking for a few drivers to jump out there, Chris Ferguson, Bob Klein, James Braswell Jr., not out there onto the track yet. Those drivers may be waiting patiently here. They may be waiting until this one gets closer to the end. And we'll have to wait and see if uh, Bob Klein, James, or Chris are going to be in attendance racing or if they're going to be up in the admin booth making sure these drivers stay, uh, stay under control here for the evening. Yo, Michael, what's good, Michael? Solid streams you have, brother. Love seeing what you do. I appreciate you, Michael. I appreciate you coming in, showing the love here in this one. It's Bob Klein coming in with the like on the stream. Rob Stefanski also coming in smashing that thumbs up Josiah Johnson with the thumbs up here on the broadcast as we get ready for heat race number one heat race number one loading into the sim each and every one of these drivers looking for the win is starting on the pole in the 327 ride that is Hayden Tolleson to his outside in that seven ride it is Eli Johnson Starting in position number three, the 29 machine. That is Richie Yost into his outside in the number 91. That is Tanner Peak. Peak waiting to get that car into gear. Gets it rolling here as we see on the bottom side a row number three. It's the 92 ride. It is the HRE Sim Sports machine. That is Logan Johnson into his outside. The 114, that is Joe Garcia. Starting in position number seven in the 43 ride, that is Nick King. Then we see William Feinling, Josiah Johnson, and Keegan Brown bringing up the rear of the field as we end all the anticipation with our first heat race of the evening. Quickly, Hayden Tolleson out in front, going to lead us down the back straightaway as everybody makes it nice and easy down into quarter number three here. Almost three wide back there, deeper in the field. Look at the Hornets next back here for a top five. Contact around goes Nicholas. King around goes Logan Johnson. Caution flag number one is going to fly here on the evening. It's, oh, tough break there for Logan Johnson and Nick King as they were looking to have themselves some good runs here this evening. The 29 right, right in front of them, just barely able to escape this as the 92 sends it in there. He thought he was all clear. A little contact from the 114 ride of Joe Garcia just sends in that number 43 a little bit too deep here. Let's play it back and see if we can get a look here at that 43 ride of Nicholas King as he gets sent into the corner a little deeper than I think he was anticipating as he gets some contact right there. Gets that contact, gets shoved into corner number one. He slides up the track into that left rear of Logan Johnson. Then he goes around, nowhere to go for the 91. There goes the 92 right of Logan Johnson where his HRE teammate can get some damage in there as well as the 91 with some pretty heavy front up damage there is uh, the elbows up ride definitely had his elbows up right there trying to stay out of all that contact but unfortunately found quite a bit of damage on that right front in the front end of that number 91 machine as we will get them stacked up racked up and ready to go back to green flag racing Aiden Tolleson Eli Johnson Richie Yost one two and three on the racetrack Tanner Peak there on the outside of the top three looking in here then you see that 114 at Joe Garcia rounding out our top five as we'll get them stacked up racked up ready to go here does look like top three will transfer through everybody else will be headed to the consolation races as Hayden Tolleson out in front here he's gonna see that green flag down at a quarter number four and we are back to action here at Lincoln Speedway and a great restart for Eli Johnson he's gonna slide up in front of the 327 a beautiful crossover as Hayden Tolleson gonna stay out in front down into quarter number three he's looking to keep on putting himself out in front as a little contact farther back there is the sweet victory apparel warrior wraps in number 114 to joe garcia battling door to door some more contact there with that 4-2 graphics number 29 ride of richie yost yost trying to stay in that third and final transfer spot as he knows that he's in the hot seat right now everyone back there behind him trying to work themselves into his position he's gonna have to try to hang on to it and keep these drivers at bay it's Joe Garcia battling here with the 71 ride of Josiah Johnson. Is Johnson going to work himself now up into position number four and looking for more as the HRE machine looking to the back bumper of that 29. 
William Vineling in that 310 ride right there in the sixth position. Logan Johnson finds himself back up in the seventh spot. Here is Tanner Peak with that damaged up number 913 ride back there in the eighth position with Nicholas King and Keegan Brown bringing up the rear of the field. As out in front, we get another pass here. A big run on the outside as Eli Johnson's going to jump up and take this race lead away. Johnson leads him nice and easy down through quarter number two and down the back straightaways. The white flag has been displayed. So for the final time, into quarter number three and out of quarter number four, it's the seven of Eli Johnson picking up heat race win number one. Hayden Tolleson, Richie Yost, our top three, the transfer through. Everybody else will be going to the consolation race. Races. Yo, Warrior Racing coming in with the like on the stream, coming in, showing the love, some matching that thumbs up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that follow and subscribe button as we get ready to set these drivers back loose here for heat race number two. As they get loaded into the sim, they're looking for the win as starting on the pole in the Warrior Wraps. Majula say Speed Shop, Sweet Victory Apparel Ride, that is Jaden Sheehan. His outside, the Zero Machine, it is the Team CFM Esports HRE Ride, that is Riley Hutchinson. Starting in position number three in the 10D, that is Dustin Price into his outside. In the Fat Heads number 32 machine, that is Christopher Joy. Starting in position number five in the double zero ride is the tack three sweet victory apparels double zero of Tommy Kohick. To his outside the 21 ride, that is Justin Brown. Then we see Talon Norco, R Rondell, Oler, Oler, hopefully I'm saying that right. Jacob DeBoer and Hunter Wynn bringing up the rear of the field. As Jaden Sheehan sees that green flag fly, he quickly slides up in front of that zero right. Riley Hutchinson, Hutchinson cutting back down. The hits inside is Riley Hutchinson looking for the slide jump here in three and four. A crossover from the five right. They drag race back to the line. It's Jaden Sheehan who stays out in front here for heat race number two, lap number one. But here comes Christopher Joy. Joy making some early moves, trying to get that 32 to the front of the field. Christopher Joy down across the line as our new race leader here in heat race number two on lap number two. To his outside, though, the HRE Simsports zero ride of Riley Hutchinson throwing everything and the kitchen sink out of here, trying to figure out a way to get around this 32 ride. He's going to try his hand down at the bottom side here. He's up on the high side. Christopher Joy looking for a big run with some good momentum down the back straightaway to stay in front of the zero as the slide jump from Riley Hutchinson. Hutchinson now to the point as they head across the line. Our new race leader, the zero ride, trying to hang on to it now is the 32 of Christopher Joy trying to steal it back away from him. A great battle here at the front of the field is Dustin Price just outside the top three looking in here. He's on the outside of a transfer spot looking in knowing that he has to be top three to transfer through. Talon Norco up a couple spots in the 17 right there in fifth with Tommy Coick there in sixth position. Hunter Wynn up into seventh. Justin Brown back into eighth as he battles door to door and some heavy damage on that 21 ride as him and Jacob DeBoer battle back there for the eighth position. Ronald Old Oler there as well in that number four ride as we do see the caution flag fly as the 56 ride of Hunter Wynn. You see him right there down pit side with Rondell as uh, both these drivers some pretty heavy damage and we'll take a look back and see what happens here to the win ride as he was just outside of a transfer spot back about the sixth position. Tanks the outside wall there a little bit and drives it in there even deeper into quarter number one. Hard contact there with that outside wall and some heavy damage here. We'll play it back and take another look at it here as see that contact right below the flank stand. Just gets him a little bent out of shape, unfortunately. Sends it in there with a whole head of steam. Gets up into that outside fence and has to take her back behind the wall. As we'll get them stacked up, racked up, and ready to go back to green flag racing as Jeremiah Johnson says, yes, sir, Eli, yes, sir. Uh, Tia coming in as well, says, go Warriors. Majula say Speed Shop coming in with that share as well on the broadcast, coming in, showing the love here in this one as we get these drivers ready to rock and roll here. Hutchinson 
and Christopher Joy, they did not want to see that caution flag. They were sitting pretty up in the top two spots, continuing to duke it out for the win here. Now that's going to bring a lot of very fast cats right back to their rear bumper. Jaden Sheehan, Dustin Price, Talon Norco, Tommy Kohick, all right there, ready to pounce and trying to work themselves into the A main feature event. Riley Hutchinson slowing the pace down the Sweet Victory Apparels HRE Sim Sports for Julius A. Speed Shop Johnson's Simtography Zero Ride Creeping down through quarter number three. He's going to see that green flag flying quickly onto the loud pedal. That's exactly what he needed. They're trying to run away and open up a gap between himself and Christopher Joy. Joy trying to reel him back in, though, is the 32 right there in position number two. And here comes Dustin Price. Price trying to use the outside lane as he battles door to door with the fine ride of Jaden Sheehan for that third and final transfer position. The zero rider, Riley Hutchinson, though, does see that white flag fly. So for the final time, down into quarter number three. Nice and easy out of quarter number four. Christopher Joy looking for a big run down to his inside. Door to door across the line, but it's the zero of Riley Hutchinson. Picking up heat race win number two. Christopher Joy, Dustin Price there in third. Everybody else will be headed to the consolation race, but good news is that everybody will transfer through. There will be no consolation race. These drivers will be all in the A main feature event. So if your favorite driver didn't have a great run in their heat race, got tied up in some incidences out there on the racetrack, good news, you're going to be able to see them compete here in this feature event where they're going to be trying to get their car to the front of the field here. They're going to have to pass a lot of drivers. But, uh, you know, these this field of cars, man, they're going to be flying around this racetrack. We already saw some contact, a lot of friendly fire out there on the racetrack as this is the Team CFM Esports customer race. So all these drivers, part of the Team CFM Esports, the customer base here with all of the Chris Ferguson Motorsports boys out there on the racetrack looking to just put on a good show here for us. And uh, a huge thank you from, you know, obviously Team CFM, Chris Ferguson Motorsports, and obviously all the boys over there at Machula Safe Speed Shop for all of these drivers, their hard-earned money and everyone putting their time and effort in to, you know, produce great results and becoming one of the best, if not the best, you know, dirt place to be here in iRacing. One of the best dirt setups or if you need anything over there, man. They got it. They got it. That's for certain. Look them up. Make sure you guys give a good shout out there to uh, Majula Safe Speed Shop, to Team CFM, the Chris Ferguson, and uh, everything that has to do with this series. Is these guys always put on a good show. Some very fast cats out there on the racetrack. Some of the best to ever do it. And they're looking to have themselves a good run here this evening. And obviously a lot of eyes in the skies here on them this evening. So a lot of pressure and good results. Good for projecting to, uh, you know, put your name into the history books here as one of the best to ever do it. Yo, James Broswell coming in, showing the love. What's good, James? James coming in, some matching that thumbs up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream, hit the share, hit that follow, and hit that subscribe button as we'll get ready to go racing in our A main feature event in just a few more moments. We're not only live over here on Facebook, so you guys can always check us out over on Twitch, and we're also live over on YouTube. If you look up Peacemaker Gaming on pretty much any of those sites, you should be able to see it, should be able to see the live and it's uh, basically the same logo as what we've always had here with the Peacemaker Gaming so make sure you guys go and check us out on all the channels and uh, make sure you guys show the love over there and cheer on your favorite drivers from all of the different sites that we're live on right now these drivers out on the racetrack here a quick warm up session they're making sure that their cars are absolutely hooked up that they got the best CFM Majula Safe Speed Shop set up in these rides ready to roll here this evening from Lincoln Speedway we're going to see some world record lap times probably being laid down here this evening as these drivers are going to be putting on one wild show for us lap after lap after lap and this is going to be a very very exciting race as practice coming to a close we'll get ready to load these drivers into the sim each and every one of them looking for a win but it doesn't get any better than starting on the front row and that's where we find a pair of the hre sim sports teammates here is the seven ride of eli johnson gonna start here in that pole position to his outside his teammate in the zero machine that is riley hutchinson
Starting in position number three is the 327 machine of Hayden Tolleson to his outside. That's the 32 of Christopher Joy. Starting in position number five in the 42 graphics module is a speed shop ride. That is the 29 of Richie Yost into his outside in the race cars, the AK race cars 10D. That is Dustin Price. Then we see the 71 of Josiah Johnson in the HRE Sim Sports ride. There in seventh, he's got Jaden. And she and in the Warrior Raps ride to his outside. Joe Garcia in the Sweet Victory Apparel number 114 machine there in ninth with Talon Norco starting to his outside. William Feindling starting in position number 11 as the 310 ride back outside the top 10 here on the starting grid. He's got the double zero of Tommy Kohink there in that 12th position. And you see the 92 of Logan Johnson, the 13 ride that is Jacob Tabor there in that 14th starting position. Then you see the 43 of Nick King starting down on the inside of row number eight on the racetrack. He's got the number 21 of, uh, that is the 21 ride, sorry, of, he's way ahead of everybody here. Where'd he go on the list here? Oh God, that's Justin Brown there in the 21 ride. That's the name I was looking for, Justin Brown. You see Keegan Brown right there behind him with Hunter Wynn, Tanner Peak, and Rondell Oler there in position number 20. It's 20 drivers ready to see the green flag fly here in the CFM customer race here live from Lincoln Speedway. It is a pair of HRE Sims Force rides. It's Eli Johnson, Riley Hutchinson, who are going to bring us down to the green flag here this evening as we end all the anticipation with our feature presentation as we are quickly green flag racing here from Lincoln Speedway. Eli Johnson jumping out in front looking for a big run here down the back straightaway as he looks to put a little bit of a gap between himself and the zero of Riley Hutchinson. Hutchinson has that 327 right down to his inside as here comes Hayden Tolleson looking already to make some moves towards the front of the field. Christopher Joy right there in tow with Richie Yost rounding out our top five. And then it's a bit of a hornet's nest deeper back through the field. Here's a little contact there. The 17 ride giving the 310 a shot in the shorts. William finally trying to hang on to that 10th position here as he's all over the back bumper of Jaden Sheehan. Sheehan trying to stay there in ninth as Logan Johnson already trying to work himself towards the front of the field. So is it Nick King as he looks underneath the double zero of Tommy Kohick. Justin Brown, Jacob DeBoer back there just on the outside of the top 15 here. Trying to roll up towards the top 10. Is out in front. We get a lead change down the back straightaway. The 327 of Hayden Tolleson out in front. Going to jump up and take this race lead away. So Hayden Tolson now to the point here as unfortunately for Josiah Johnson, Lincoln here a little bit in that 71 ride. He's up into position number five, but definitely may make it a little bit tricky for drivers to try to get around him. He's out in front. Hayden Tolleson consumes this race lead with Eli Johnson and Riley Hutchinson door to door right there behind him. They're still looking to try to jump up here and take this race lead back away from that 327 ride. But Hayden Tolson doing what he does best in that saying out in front and leading laps here in this one. He's back a little farther. See Joe Gar see up a couple spots here he's got that sweet victory apparels number one 14 right up two spots into position number seven and he's not done yet as he's trying to reel in Richie Yost Jaden Sheehan right there behind him with William Feinling going for a bit of a slide up the racetrack almost collected Dustin Price's price Unfortunately, sliding backwards here, already down three spots on the racetrack, trying to get that 10D ride hooked up here for late in this race. Maybe trying to save some tire here for late in this one, as that could become a big issue here. If we see a late race caution flag, drivers that may be trying to save a little tire, save a little bit of car for late in this, may have that opportunity as we see the caution flag fly. Eli Johnson, Richie Yost coming together, and that will bring out our first caution flag of this feature event. So our pole sitter, the seven ride, unfortunately having some issues here as he sends it in to corner number three here and going to get some contact there from the 32 of, uh, of, that is Christopher Joy, unfortunately getting into him there as Joy 
Gets a piece of the seven right, spins him sideways, backs him up the racetrack, and then Richie Yost, nowhere to go here as the 29 ride just trying to hang on to it. We'll jump right onto the helmet cam here with this 29 machine and see what he sees from the cockpit as he sends it into quarter number three, not expecting to have anything to deal with here. And then all of a sudden, a couple cars spun out right in front of me, gets onto the binders, unfortunately, could not get out of the way of that one. Gets a big piece of that seven machine, some heavy front end damage there for Richie Yo. So we'll see him probably head down pit side, get some repairs done to his car. You see the seven ride going to the rear of the field as well as the 32, a Christopher Joy. So a pair of drivers up inside of our top five having some issues, including the 29 ride of Richie Yost though. So we're gonna have to wait and watch, see how those drivers can try to work themselves back up through the field. Aiden Tolison getting ready for this green flag. Going to start on the outside here as that 327 ride's been hooked up here this evening. Didn't get the win in heat race number one. Started back in that third position, but didn't take him long to find the front of the field as he gets set loose, but a good restart down low as Riley Hutchinson saw him go. Unfortunately, the 327 ride, just no traction up on the high side there. Did not get a good launch. Even though he was on the loud pedal, he could not get any forward bite there. Coming out at corner number four and that allowed the zero ride of Riley Hutchinson just to drive right underneath of him and take that top spot away. So Hutchinson out in front, Hayden Tolson there in second, Josiah Johnson still blinking here in that 71 ride there in position number three is the 114 of Joe Garcia there into that fourth position Dustin Price back up inside the top five is Jaden Sheehan, William Feindling, Nick King and Talon Norco there in the ninth position it's Tom Tommy Gohick rounding out our top 10. Logan Johnson, Tanner Peak trying to track him down, trying to work themselves inside the top 10. As we look back a little bit farther, here comes that seven ride of Eli Johnson and the 32 of Christopher Joy. They've already made the move around a few drivers. They continue to try to work themselves back up towards the front of the field. Unfortunately for Richie Yos, having a little bit more of a tougher time here, trying to work himself through some of the other traffic deeper in the pack. It's, he's kind of stuck behind that four ride of Rondell Oler and the number 13 of Jacob DeBoer. He's trying to find a lane, and he's got Hunter Wynn all over his back bumper there, putting the pressure on that 29 ride. Is out in front, not feeling a lot of pressure now. It's the zero of Riley Hunter. Hutchinson, the HRE Simsports, Team CFM Esports, Majula Safe Speed Shop Zero Ride continue to lead the way and he's stretching out his lead. 1.4 seconds is now Hayden Tolson getting leaned on. Here comes that 17 ride of Josiah Johnson. So these HRE machines are definitely hooked up here this evening. All of them looking very, very good. This is the third one we've seen up inside the top three here this evening. Is that HRE machine of Josiah Johnson up into third? with Joe Garcia and Dustin Price rounding out our top five. As these guys continue to put on a good race. I see my boy Matthew Glenn up in the house. Matthew says, let's go. Let's go, Matthew. How are you, brother? Matthew Glenn coming in, showing the love. Kevin Odelsky, Odelli coming in with the like on the stream. Keaton Holder coming in with that like as well as Mr. Glenn. Matthew Glenn coming in, showing the big love here with that thumbs up here in the broadcast. As it's a hornet's nest a little farther back here, right behind that 92 right alone. Logan Johnson, who's now found himself away inside the top 10 here. See Christopher Joy right there trying to continue to roll himself to the front of the field. It's Joy now going to get up into that 11th position. Sees a whole gang of the cars in front of him, knowing that he may have an opportunity here to make some passes, make some moves, and try to work that 32 right back up inside the top 10 after creating that caution flank here. The beginning of the evening is, oh, up into the wall, Talon Norco. Norco hard up into the outside fence. No caution flag. Heavy right front damage here. I do believe that right front tire is absolutely shredded off the car. It must have went over the wall. No caution flag as of yet as he's trying to take that car off the racetrack and he is going to get it off the track. So no caution flag and that's exactly what Riley Hutchinson wanted to see. He did not want to see that caution flag fly as we do see some more issues. Around goes the 114. Christopher Joy collected more contact. Up into the air goes that 114 ride. And Joe Garcia will bring out our second caution flag of the evening. Woo! Joe Garcia, hang on to it here in this one. 
He was up inside the top five here. Our top five been having some issues throughout the evening. He sends it in there a little bit too deep. Climbs the outside fence here. Oh man, what a ride for this 114 machine as he comes down off the fence. Unfortunately, that car all busted up, spins it around into the inside fence. Nowhere to go for Christopher Joy. And then you see Eli Johnson getting some more damage into that one as well as Eli and Joy find each other there on the racetrack. And Unfortunately, some pretty heavy damaged up cars right there. You see that 56 ride back down pit side, getting it repaired once again. As tough break for a lot of drivers, a tough break for that number 114 and Joe Garcia. So we'll take a look again here. We're going to jump right onto the cockpit view here, right into the helmet cam of Joe Garcia as he sends it in here. Unfortunately, gets in a little bit too deep, and then this is a sight you never want to see. And then Oh, yeah, this car just unfortunately all damaged up, and then you never want to see that as well. The rest of the field coming right at you, almost head on there for a couple seconds, and that is a scary sight into a tough break for Joe as we will get the base truck back down pit side. We'll get ready to go back to green flag racing. It's out in front. Riley Hutchinson did not want to see that caution flag. He wanted to see this one go clean and green right down to the very end as he's going to have to hit another perfect restart as we are going to get one more caution lap here for these drivers so they'll get a little bit more time to sit here and think about what they need to do and how they need to do it to work themselves to the front of the field or put themselves possibly in position for the win here today. Yo, Kenny Storks in. What's good, Kenny? Kenny coming in says, yo, yo, what's up, Kenny? Kenny coming in. Some match of that thumbs up here on the broadcast is down through corner number three. And at a corner number four, the green flag's going to fly. A great restart for the zero right of Riley Hutchinson. And that's exactly what he needed. He's been able to hit these restarts perfectly so far this evening. He slides up to the high side, punches down the throttle, down the back straight away, and opens up a couple car length lead. As here comes Hayden Tolleson, trying to track him back down. Is that 327 right? Trying to hang on to position number two. Is the 71 of Josiah Johnson there in third. Nick King working himself down on the bottom side here up 11 positions now up into position number four and looking for more here for Nick King as he's putting on a clinic out here making some moves and working himself to the front of the pack is fortunately we will see the caution flag fly once again as it looks like Justin Brown the 21 Ryan gonna have some issues here as he works underneath the 92 of Logan Johnson heavy contact back there behind them but it's like right here, Jane Sheen going to come in, get a piece of him there, spins him around, and unfortunately, that 21 ride gets parked right on top of a couple drivers there, and unfortunately for Tanner Peak, he gets a piece of that one as well. Keegan Brown and Rich Ghost both getting up into the outside fence there in corner number one as well. So heavy contact and a lot of tough battling out here on the racetrack, and unfortunately, drivers just running out of room here ever so slightly, and... That's all it takes, a little bit of a bump, and unfortunately that can put a lot of cars into a bad position here. As these drivers will all try to head down pit side, get some repairs done to their rides, and they'll get ready to go back to battle here in just a few more moments. As you know, in front, the HRE Sim Sports Majula State Speed Shop Sweet Victory Apparel, number zero of Riley Hutchinson continuing to lead the way. Hayden Tolson there in second with Josiah Johnson, Nick King, and Dustin Price in our top five. As we get ready to go back to green flag racing, we're going to jump on board here with Logan Johnson as we're going to jump into a quick Peacemaker Gaming Crank It Up. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, crank up that volume and cheer on your favorite drivers. We crank it up here on Peacemaker Gaming. to come right back out here in this one is cautions breeding cautions in our peacemaker gaming crank it up caution flag is going to fly so the curse continues there with that one as we will take a look back and see what brings out yet again another caution flag as it looks like the double zero of tommy kohik on 
unfortunately running into some issues here on the racetrack. Sends it down into corner number one here. You see the 71 hard up into the fence as well with the 555 by the triple nickel machine. Gonna make a little contact there with that double zeros. You do see the 71 park there as well. Some heavy contact there and a tough break for Johnson as he gets up into that outside fence. But here comes the contact. The triple nickel right gonna go into the double zero. Unfortunately gets into him, spins him sideways. And then nowhere to go here for the 13 right. Who's gonna drive in there, get some heavy damage. Here comes win as well. Getting some damage there, Richie Yost. Brown all getting a piece of that one as some heavy damage on the front end of that double zero ride. They see Jaden Sheen and the four ride coming together, going around there as well as we also saw a tough break for that number 71. And uh, that is a tough, tough break there for 71 machine of Josiah Johnson as just running up inside the top three. This is another drive that we've seen inside the top three here. Have issues on the evening as Gets in there a little too deep and up into that fence. Heavy right side damage. That right field just tore apart. And then Gosh Blank coming out after that. So maybe good news for him as we are back to green flag racing. And he is back out there on the racetrack. So he's going to try to look to work himself back to the front of the field as we are halfway in and halfway to go here in this one. It's the zero line of Riley Hutchinson. Continuing to lead the way, we're going to continue here with our Peacemaker Gaming Crank It Up. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, crank up that volume. Hit the like, hit the share, hit that follow and subscribe button as we crank it up here on Peacemaker Gaming. Is that zero rider Riley Hutchinson continuing to lead the way here in this one? That 71 car absolutely hooked up here this evening. Is he's got that Majula Say speech up HRE Sim Sports number zero ride at the front of the field, and he's looking to open up another big lead over Hayden Tolison. As Tolison right there in tow, trying to hunt him down by running at a time with only 12 more laps left to go and a second between them. As here comes comes Christopher Joy. Joy, who's up inside the top five, made contact and helped spun around one of the first caution flanks here of the evening. 
and to go to the rear of the field has worked himself back up through the traffic has that Elliott's trucking number 32 right as the Fatheads machine up into position number three and he isn't done yet as he's got the 43 right a Nick King continue to work to his inside a good run here for King as well as he continues the battle there to the inside of that 32 ride but a great rebound here for Christopher Joy as he hangs on right there in position number three Riley Hutchinson though out in front continuing to hold that one second lead is down across the line here he is going to see I believe that nine more laps left to go here in this feature event Aiden Tolison right there in tow in position number two is Nick King in that 43 ride. Continue to try to hold off that 32 of Christopher Joy. Joy going to work himself down to the inside here. and going to try to make this pass and get around him here. On the bottom side going to give King that outside lane. Looks like the outside is starting to fade away a little bit more. A little bit more is contact being made. They got to check up. Here comes that 913 of Tanner Peak. Peak is going to poke his nose into that battle here is unfortunately for Nicholas King. He's going to slide back a couple spots on the racetrack right there is there goes Christopher Joy and Tanner Peak both around him Nick King going to try to battle back though to the inside of that 91 913 machine it's Logan Johnson right there on the outside of the top five looking in here the 92 right trying to hunt them down. Here comes Justin Brown as well, up into that seventh position as downtown Brown, up into that seventh spot as he's made the move around the 114 of Joe Garcia. As Garcia back in the eighth position. Jaden Sheehan, Richie Yost rounding out our top 10. Here in this one is Jacob DeBoer, Tommy Kohick, Josiah Johnson, Gonna get some contact there as Keegan Brown goes for a loop-de-loop. -loop. That's gonna bring the caution flag out late in this race. The triple nickel rod going to get some contact there between himself and the number 71 ride. Unfortunately for Egan Brown, he's going to go for a loop-de-loop -loop here, and that will bring the caution flag out. He's already up into the outside fence. You see heavy damage, though, on that HRE Simsports number 71 ride. No rear wing, no nothing. Unfortunately, just loses the rear end, slides up into that triple nickel ride. Gives him a couple big bumps, and around goes the VLR Number 555 ride is that's a tough break there for Keegan Brown looking to have himself a good run here this evening. We'll see him go down pit side, get some repairs and back out onto the racetrack still on the lead lap. So good news there for the triple nickel that he can keep on working himself back up towards the front of the field. Unfortunately, not a lot of time to try to get things done as right now, Riley Hutchinson did not want to see that caution flag. Knowing the laps were numbered here into the single digits, knowing he was oh so close to seeing that white flag and possibly the checkered flag here this evening. Now he brings all these amazing drivers right back to his rear bumper. He's going to have to hit this restart perfectly. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do you think Riley Hutchinson, the zero ride, is going to hold on to pick up the win here in the CFM customer race this evening? Or do you think somebody else who back there behind him will be able to find the rain, try to find the run to put themselves in front of that zero ride here today? Could it be Hayden Tolson, Christopher Joy, Nick King, Tanner Peek, or anybody else out there on the racetrack is a great restart, and that's exactly what he needs. Here for Riley Hutchinson is Hutchinson out in front, but contact deeper in the pack around goes the 43. Caution flag will fly here once again. Nick King getting tied up in that one. Richie Yost getting some contact there as well. And unfortunately, cautions breeding cautions. We'll see another one here late in this race as contact right there. Nick King just unfortunately trying to get a little bit of a different angle into quarter number one. He's going to get underneath of this 913 ride, jack him up and take him around here. I don't think he was anticipating the 91, the 913 to really go that sideways into quarter number one and just shoots it in there. Unfortunately, nowhere to go for Logan Johnson, nowhere to go here for Riley Sheehan as he slams in there. Then here comes Richie Yost just trying to work himself back up inside the top 10 and then he's going to get some more damage there as well. So couple of top hits, a couple of top breaks for some of these drivers getting collected in a late race caution flag as we will get them stacked up, racked up, and ready to go back to green flag racing. Riley Hutchinson is going to have to try to hit this restart perfectly one more time as 
Now he's got Christopher Joy to his outside, so iRacing scoring the 32 rider Christopher Joy in position at number two as he had a good restart in behind that zero ride. As Stacy Benton says, okay, I nominate you to announce any and all races because some of these are like nails on a chalkboard. Laugh out loud. Yes, I'm just spoiled. Laugh out loud, says Stacy Benton. Hey, listen, everybody that's here and part of the Peacemaker family is always spoiled. That is for certain. Good to see you, Stacy, coming in, showing the love here this evening. As here we go, ladies and gentlemen, get on the edge of your seats, turn that volume up, cheer on your favorite driver. It's about to get hairy and it's about to get scary. Here from Lincoln Speedway is the restart perfect once again for the zero rider, Riley Hutchinson. But here comes Christopher Joy. Joy looking down to the inside, door to door, out of corner number two, out of nowhere. Here comes Justin Brown. Downtown Brown up into position number four and looking for more is down the front straightaway across the line. We're going to see three, two more laps left to go. The zero rider, Riley Hutchinson, getting up, taking the outside fence. That's going to allow the 32 to try to stay right there to his inside. As Hutchinson, Joy, one and two. Here comes Hayden Tolson. Justin Brown right there is down across the line. We're going to see that white flag fly. One more time around here for the zero rider, Riley Hutchinson. Hutchinson for the final time this evening. He's going to lead us down into quarter number three and out of quarter number four. Here comes Christopher and Joy. They drag race back to the line, but it's the zero of Riley Hutchinson who's going to pick up the win here in this one. They're going to go for a couple of loop-de-loops back there behind him as man, oh man, oh man. The zero ride of Riley Hutchinson is pumped, picking up the win here in the CFM customer race here in 2024 what a run and what a drive right there for that zero machine as Hutchinson parks his ride up in victory lane we'll get ready to try to pull these drivers in to the discord I'm not sure which discord these guys are in unfortunately James didn't send me the discord I'm in my discord so I don't know if any of these drivers have my discord Alex says what a race yeah that was a absolutely amazing race that was a barn burner right there I'm not sure if all these guys are in all these guys in the Mid-South Mafia Discord, they might be in this one. Let me see if I can jump in there. See if I can see these guys in the uh, in the Mid-South Mafia Discord. So we'd love to try to get them in here. We'd love to get the, these top three up into the broadcast booth here for some post-race interviews. A heck of a run there for Riley Hutchinson. Started outside the front row and just stayed right up there. Had the pressure on the back bumper of Hayden Tolson for a lot of laps. Was able to make that move, get around him, and then drive away with this one. Then a couple good rebounds out there. Late in the race for Christopher Joy to jump up into second. And then we see Justin Brown from deep in the field here having some issues with of the middle portion of that race and then being able to rebound and work himself up to the front of the field here in this one into that third spot is a heck of a run and a heck of a drive right there for Justin Brown as well. Chris says, hell of a race. Great job by all. Great job by all these drivers, man. They put on a heck of a show, a heck of a drive here this evening for all the fans in the stands to enjoy and to uh, be able to experience and have some fun with is, is absolutely amazing. And uh, I would love to try to get these guys in here for some post-race interviews. I'm just not sure. Okay, there we go. We do see some of them in, in mind. Okay, okay, okay. We got them in mind here. We got them in mind. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our race winner. Riley Hutchinson, we're going to pull him up into the broadcast booth after I shout out Stacy Benton. Stacy coming in, showing the big love here in this one with the 200 star dono. I appreciate you, Stacy, coming in, showing the love here in this one with the 200 stars on the broadcast. I appreciate you. Tia, uh, Tia Middleton coming in as well set, uh, with the like on the stream says, Great race, Warriors. Some great racing there by all these drivers. As we'll get ready to pull our race winner. No one better here this evening than Riley Hutchinson. This Zero ride as we pull him up into the broadcast booth. Hey, Riley, it's Aaron up here in the Peacemaker Broadcasting booth. Do you get a copy? Yeah, I do, sure. Riley, man, what a run. What a race here. Take us back through this one as you start outside the front row with your teammate. And right out of the get-go, you guys duke it out. A little bit of two wide, three wide here on the racetrack. And slowly but surely, you're able to find yourself a way 
back up to the front of the field, making the move around Hayden Tolleson into that top spot. And from that point on, you never really looked back, but you knew you had a lot of fast cats back there behind you. And these late race caution flanks had to have you gripping that wheel a little bit tighter each and every one of these restarts. Yeah, um, definitely. Like, I just knew at the start I had to save there. Didn't know how the setup was going to be, actually. But, um, yeah, it was just tricky, really. Like, you're just trying to knock, not knock your spoiler off and drive smart and keep your nose clean and, yeah. Absolutely. Definitely a very technical racetrack, especially when it gets this slicked off. As it, the inside lane, it's very, very tempting with a little bit of brown down there, but there's not a whole lot of speed down against that inside wall. So you're going to run a little bit of a slide job lane, and that comes with that big factor, bringing that rear tail up to that outside fence. And we saw a lot of drivers get into it here this evening. And if you get up there, the wrong angle or a little bit too hard, it can suck that right front right up into the fence, and it can tear your car apart in a quick, quick hurry. So everyone just playing on the edge of disaster here in this race trying to roll that outside lane you know what was going through your mind throughout this race knowing that one small mistake one slip up or one time rolling out of the throttle could bring a lot of these drivers right back to your rear bumper oh uh, yeah even towards the end there where i knew i had a bit of a gap halfway through that race there until we got that caution which i didn't really want but anyway and then um at towards the end there about six seven laps left where that caution had a big stuff up and I thought I had spoiler damage at first because I started getting real, like, slippery. And I'm like, yeah, no, oh, this isn't good. But, like, we ended up making it work. And then Chris ended up coming up to us and it was really getting nervous then. But we made it work, of course. Absolutely, Christopher Joy definitely making some moves to work himself back up to the front of the field there and seeing him on the relative, knowing that he's coming back up through the traffic as he was up inside the top five there, got collected in that first caution flag where he had to go to the rear of the field and make himself known and trying to work himself through the field here, passing a lot of cars and slowly but surely getting himself back up to the front there and putting on a show late in this race and trying to find something underneath it yet, just there wasn't anything down there for that, uh, you know, that Sorry, what number is he again? <clears throat> for the 32. number 32 ride there for uh, Christopher Joy. As he was looking, he was trying, just unfortunately he couldn't find anything. And then he had to play a little defense there on that last lap to give yourself a little bit of an extra edge there through the back straightaway and in through three and four and not having to worry about a, a big slide job or a big shot there coming from the 32 ride as he was trying to still hold off Justin Brown and Hayden Tolleson right there behind him. Yeah, I just also like to um thank uh, CFM, HRE, Sin Sports, Majula Speed, Speed Shop, and uh, Johnson Speed Shots too. Absolutely, Riley. Is there anyone else you'd like to shout out here for uh, such a great run and great performance here this evening? Uh just everyone for a good race. Yeah, that's it. Beauty well, Riley, congratulations on picking up the win here in the CFM customer race here in 2024. Congratulations, a heck of a run, a heck of a drive, and that zero ride looks dang good up in victory lane here at Lincoln Speedway. Thank you. Absolutely. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Well done. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up there for the zero ride of Riley Hutchinson as Hutchinson picking up the checkered flag here in this one. What a run and what a drive there for that number zero machine as we'll get ready to pull the 32 of Christopher Joy up into the broadcast booth as Joy coming home here in that second spot. A heck of a run and a heck of a drive here from that number, probably in the CFM Discord. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't have the CFM Discord, but they found me. They found me. Where we're over in my discord so so that's good as uh, we'll pull Christopher Joy here our second place finisher up into the broadcast booth here is Chris having himself a great run and a great drive here in this one a great rebound as well as we pull that 32 up into the broadcast booth hey Chris it's Aaron up here in the peacemaker broadcasting booth to get a copy sure do Chris, man, what a run, what a race. Take us back through this one as we saw you up in the top five early in this race. Looking very good, very strong. Just trying to, you know, keep yourself pointing the right direction, trying to stay out of trouble. Unfortunately, you find a little trouble there. You get into, I do believe it was the seven ride as he was getting into some trouble himself. And you guys all get tied together. You end up having to go to the rear of the field here. Luckily enough, it, still a lot of laps left out there on the racetrack. And you were able to work yourself around a lot of very talented drivers, 
very fast cars out there on the track to drive all the way up into position number two here late in this race, man. Take us through that one and how you worked yourself up through the field and, you know, what was going through your mind on that last caution flag, that last restart, knowing that you had a shot at picking up the win here in this one. Yeah, kind of sucks what uh, happened with me and Ethan, or not Ethan, Elijah. Um I, he just kind of checked up, went to do a cut down because he was kind of getting held up, um, the people in front of us, and just kind of wrong place at the wrong time, which sucks for him. He was doing pretty good. Um, but yeah, this got stuck to the back and um, had somebody mid-race kind of came down off the track side of the stain where he was, but it happens trying to get out of the way or whatnot, but had a little nose damage. Um, yeah, just... Worked my way up to the top. Definitely had less tire than most of these guys coming through the field like I did. Um, just all you can do is just try. Um, I'm glad for Riley. He does pretty good when he can. And uh, most of the time he gets kicked out of races just with ping issues and net code and stuff. So uh, hats off to him for the win. Absolutely. A very strong run. Very strong race for that zero ride, but a very strong race here for yourself as you're able to work yourself back up from the rear of the field up into position number two here on the evening. Chris, who would you like to thank for such a great run and strong performance here this evening? I just can't thank the guys over at Medjool City Speed Shop. Um, they build just bad, fast setups. Even for a fixed set, this thing goes on rails. Um, Fergie with CFM. Shop Fergie 22, Sweet Victor Apparel, um, Elliot's Custom Trailers in Warsaw, Indiana, Fatheads Eyewear, H and Sons Racing, uh, VLR, Outlaw Graphics, um, and you guys for the uh, broadcast. Absolutely, brother. Chris, a great run, a great drive, and we can't wait to see it back out there on the racetrack in another one of these races, and hopefully we'll see it right back up here in the broadcast booth and maybe one spot better and back up in victory lane. Gotta try, bud. Thank you. Absolutely. Enjoy the rest of your evening. You too. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up there for our second place finisher. Christopher Joy is Joy coming home here in position number two. A great run and a great race there for him as he parks that 32 ride up here in position number two as we'll get ready to pull in our third place finisher. Also our hard charger here of the race up 13 positions. Started back in 16th, found himself away up into position number three. It's the 21 ride of Justin Brown is downtown Brown coming home here in position number three. We'll get ready to pull him up into the broadcast booth. Hey, Justin, it's Aaron up here in the Peacemaker Broadcasting booth. Did you get a copy? Yes, sir. Justin, man, what a run, what a race. Take us back through this one. Does it seem like you were kind of taking it a little bit easy early on in this race, kind of hanging out there mid-pack, really not pushing the car too much. And we saw you get collected in a couple different little instances out there on the racetrack. You were able to get that car repaired back out there onto the track, and then late in this race, you just start clicking them off and working yourself closer and closer to the front of the field and then we see that big run and big battle there between you and Chris Joy and Hayden Tolison down across the line but you're able to edge up and take that third and final podium spot away here from Tolison, Nick King, Logan Johnson and so many other great talented drivers back there behind you not only stealing that third place but also picking up that hard charger as well up 13 positions on the racetrack. Yeah, that was that was fun. I didn't expect it to be so racy at the end. Uh but I mean I I had a lot of speed. Um I would be lying if I said luck didn't have a lot to do with it because I was in the right spot at the right time with a lot of people wrecking at the late bit of that race and getting a bunch of spots. Um but I mean I knew I had speed, I just needed everything to go right. I was rolling midway through and then literally my teammate threw a slider and dumped me. But it was all right. We went back to the pits, got a faster pair, came back out, knew I had plenty of tire. And then just started railing it as hard as I could. And by the time we got to the last five laps, I was like, I have a chance for a freaking podium here. And uh, I didn't expect Hayden to screw up a little bit on the last lap. He hit that backstretch wall and uh, cost him a little bit of ground going into three. And then uh, he was running up a little high. I knew he was going to try to cut back down and try to get underneath me. So I held as low as I could to not give him any room. And it worked out. But that was fun. That was a very close finish. If he would have not screwed up, I don't think I would have had him. 
Absolutely, those little mistakes that'll bite you here, especially late in these races. You're right there, able to jump up and take that spot away from the 327 run. But nonetheless, a great run and a great performance here from you all evening long as you park that 21 right up here on the podium. Justin, who would you like to thank for such a strong run and strong performance here this evening? Warrior Raps, Warrior Racing, they do a killer job with me, helping me out and everything and with the good rats. Um... CFM setups with all the dig they put out and like like Joy said this fix set even for a fix set still works real well. Um, everybody that puts on these things, uh, Chris for giving back to his customers and everything, and then you for broadcasting it, and my wife for supporting me and everything I do, and that's about it. Absolutely. Well, Justin, we look forward to seeing you back out there on the racetrack in another one of these amazing races. And hopefully we'll see you right back up here in the broadcast booth here on uh, the Peacemaker Gaming Channel. And hopefully maybe a couple of spots better and up here on Victory Lane. Hopefully one day. Absolutely, Justin. Enjoy the rest of your evening and congratulations again on the third place run. Appreciate it. Have a good night. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up there for our third place finisher. It's JB, it's Justin Brown, it's Downtown Brown coming home there in position number three as he jumps up and takes that third and final podium finish away from Hayden Tolson and Nick King late in this race. is a, a great run from Hayden Tolson, led some laps up inside the top five all evening long and Nicholas King there as well, Nick King up inside the top five there. Uh, we saw him almost up inside the top three for a little bit and... Man, that 43 ride was hooked up very, very fast here throughout the evening. Got tied up in a couple late race issues, but was able to still rebound and hold on to a top five here. So good run there for Nick King as well. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you guys all for tuning in. Shout out to all the sponsors here on the evening for the CFM Customer Race. That is the uh, High Performance by C. It's the C Performance guys over there at, uh, you know, that's Evan C and all their beautiful work. Sweet Victory Apparel Company coming in as well team cfm esports chris ferguson and uh obviously majula say speed shop always coming in and making these guys so fast out there on the racetrack and threats anytime they get in behind the wheel here on the simulator each and every one of them very very fast week in and week out and a huge shout out as well to vlr victory lane racing they are uh another very amazing uh broadcast company uh they don't tend to put on a lot of races but a lot throughout the uh the, the year are the very very big and best races of the season always having some amazing amazing uh action and and we see some big series getting put up here last season as well and hopefully we'll see some more of those big seasons get put up this year as well so it's going to be awesome to see what uh vlr has planned here for the future i know the uh spring fling i do believe is right around the corner here so be interesting to see who's going to be able to pick up the win there in the VLR spring fling later here in the next couple months. I don't know when exactly it's going to get fired off, but uh, everyone should be keeping an eye out. Make sure you go follow CFM Esports and you know, Majula Say Speed Shop and Sweet Victory Apparel. Make sure you guys go check out Victory Lane at Racing as well, VLR Sim Racing, and uh, make sure you guys drop them a follow and keep an eye lookout for all the amazing uh, series and broadcasts that they put on. But listen, thank y'all for tuning in. Absolutely amazing evening, absolutely amazing night of racing action as these guys went to battle here, lap after lap after lap, putting on some great racing action, and each of these drivers doing a very good job, lap after lap, and it was was a lot of fun watching them duke it out here this evening on Peacemaker Gaming. But listen, that's going to do it for us here on that. On that note, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for coming in and showing the love. Everyone with the likes, the comments, the shares, any of the new followers, any of the new subscribers, anyone that uh, came in with the donations or anything else. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you guys all back here tomorrow evening for, I don't know what, probably some call of duty or something i don't know we don't got really anything planned tomorrow evening so we'll have to try to get something uh up and running and see if we can get something going here tomorrow evening for a broadcast for everyone to enjoy but that will do it here for us in this one thank you all for tuning in and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace out for now baby peace out for now ladies and gentlemen